welcome back with another video today we have top 10 rarest knockouts in mma history it's on both screens without further ado let's get straight into the video oh i got started too fast i think the first one before i think on twitter Oh. Mixed martial arts are about to hit the 30-year mark since their birth in the early 1990s. Still, the sport has come a long way, filled with many masterful knockouts scored by the combat visionaries. We've gathered the rarest knockout strikes outside the UFC that deserve to be called a work of art. So sit back and enjoy the show. With the abundance of close quarters fighting in MMA, elbow strikes have always been a must-have skill for the cage gladiators. Going, which However, fighters rarely employ the trademark tomahawk, which are more commonly seen in movies. Nonetheless, at the one championship event titled Fists of Fury, Mark Abelardo and Emilio Urrutia worked hard to live up to the big headlines. In the last minute of the first round, Abelardo connected with the right hand and immediately started wielding his elbows. And he is tagged with a hook, two punches and the uppercut. His opponent made it to the bell, but allowed a well-aimed tomahawk in the process. Oh, another one! In the middle of the bout, the Filipino warrior portrayed Ong Bak once again in an award-winning performance and caught his opponent mid-punch. Oh, there you go! There you go! He capitalized! He capitalized! The perfectly placed tomahawk brought Abelardo a dizzying victory. Speaking of sharp strikes with a bend of the arm, Anderson Silva also made some noise in that department. In 2006, Spider was defending his cage rage title and literally elbowed his way to the UFC. The upward reverse elbow began Spider's era, and the rest is history. In recent years, question mark kicks have been gaining more and more popularity on MMA grounds. Also known as the Brazilian kick, however, the modification resembles a knee strike or a front kick, which often deceives the opponent. At the start of the 2000s, the misleading blow was brought to the world's attention by kickboxer Glaube Feitosa in his thunderous knockouts. In the 2010s, UFC champion Israel Adesanya borrowed the unusual move which paved his path to numerous key victories at kickboxing championships worldwide. In MMA, question mark kick knockouts granted Izzy promotion to the UFC in November of 2017. Stuart Dare was the last one standing in Adesanya's way. After brutally tricking his opponent's expectations, Adesanya took Dare out. In 2019, European KSW fans witnessed a question mark kick by Alexander Ilich, which worked really well against Damian Yanikovsky. I just seen one of these memes not that long ago. Somebody got knocked out and you put a go-kart on him and he drove off and got the little bullet. Y'all fucked up. But it's crazy to be getting knocked out with your daughter on your chest. He knocked your daughter out too, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> if you ask me, he knocked your daughter out as well. She on your chest. <laughs> The somersault kick, which goes by the name Rolling Thunder, can often be seen in kickboxing rings, because the referee will always stop the fight after a spectacular flip. But in MMA, in order to spin in a whirlwind of rage, you must either have the passion of Justin Gaethje, 
That's the Rey Mysterio kick. That's the Chris Jericho kick. What the or possess surgical precision. In 2019, Divi Gallon, a European prospect mainly known for his ground skills, proved to be the latter. Ross Pearson, a UFC retiree hoping to make a quick buck, hopped into the cage with Gallon. From the get-go, Davey started throwing back fists. He's not going to make mistakes. There was no rest for the veteran on the floor either, where he was forced to constantly get out of submissions. In the third round, Gallon went for a spinning elbow. Realizing his mistake, he changed his weapon of choice. Pearson with a body. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Goodness. In the last minute of the fight, Gallon worked up the courage for the rolling thunder. The crushing kick marked his promotion to the Premier League, Bellator in this case. In 2017, Ollie Flint, an amateur fighter, performed an under-rotated variation of the rolling thunder. Landed a few of those now. Oh, unbelievable! Oh! Unbelievable! Oh. The surface-to-air missile completely incinerated the target. Textbook soccer kicks have long been enjoyed by MMA fans in Asia. Oh, big oh, hit. Oh. But promotions outside that region rarely allow booting a grounded opponent. Therefore, in MMA, as in kickboxing, it is considered a form of art, knocking the opposition out with a low kick a moment before he touches the ground. Out by Paul Slowinski in the semifinals, a rapid fire combination. This is exactly what happened at Bellator 70, where AJ Matthews, with a 5-1 score, was coming up against veteran Charlie Rader. AJ was bossing the proceedings in the first round, without even breaking a sweat. A lot of bounce, a lot of nice movement by Matthews. In the second, the welterweight stepped it up a notch. But after trying out his left hook, right low kick combination a couple of times, Matthews finished the bout with an insane strike. One minute 30 remaining in round two. Oh, he's out! He's way out! That is it! There is the stoppage and a TKO win for Tricking his opponent to lean away from his punch, AJ immediately sent the That's shin crazy. along the way. Charlie disconnected from reality mid-air. Slips, and then bang, that kick was already thrown with his hand. And of course, we could not. That's disrespectful. His reboot card definitely expired. Charlie disconnected from reality mid-air. Slips, and then bang, that kick was already thrown with his hand. And of course, we could not pass up a surreal confrontation in the Russian promotion M1. Fearing high kicks, Mikhail Gazayev simply refused to rise from his knees for almost the entire fight. But by the third round, Konstantin Gluchov lost his patience. Despite the disqualification, Gluchov most definitely won the People's Choice Award. I'm evolving. He gets the knockout. I get the win. Isn't it obvious? Despite being a common misconception, up kick and axe kick from the ground are essentially different strikes in terms of their mechanics. Regardless of the laying position of the attacker, in both cases, the up kick's trajectory extends upwards whereas the axe kick is more parabolic. Of course, the most infamous axe kick was deployed by none other than Anderson Silva. In 2006, he first met Yushin Akami, visiting Hawaii in between Pride and UFC stints. The Brazilian fighter was dealing strikes in the vertical plane without any visible problems. Akami did try seeking salvation on the ground. And in the middle of the first round, Yushin was lucky to complete a takedown and work on his ground and pound. Much puzzled. He doesn't know what to do. He's looking for the But the spider didn't feel like it. It's giving him no respect. Oh! 
his back. That's crazy. That's crazy. With pride rules fresh in mind, the Brazilian legend to be clocked a grounded samurai with an axe kick. However, the surprised look on Silva's face did not save him from the disqualification for an illegal hit. Five years later, they will meet in the UFC, and this time the spider will have fun within the rules. In the same year, South African-born Alex Shabub, nicknamed the Professor, performed a clinical axe kick. Connecting the rear side of the hand with an opponent's head in a quick spiral motion is widely known as a spinning back fist. I actually do that move. That's my move. You know, some some wing chung in there with the wing chung kick. Guard your ass too. I'm eye gouging. I need to transition over to MMA. I trans transition over to MMA. Mark my words. I will go undefeated. Let's continue. Gaining centrifugal force with each degree of turn, it is playing. able to demolish anyone with one devastating touch. But perhaps not a single backfist compares to the one utilized by Artur Gusenov back in 2011. Making his US debut with a 9-2 record, the Russian knockout artist was facing with American grappler Tyson Jeffries. At the start, Gusinov, to his misfortune, found himself on the floor, but swiftly returned to his feet. Then he demonstrated why he was nicknamed Tornado and destroyed his enemy. Gusinov's very good job of getting out of. Oh, oh my goodness! Mama mia! That could be the... An unmatched spinning backfist. That one hit took all his, took all his HP brought Hussein of the victory and boosted his career. In 2018, Mzwandele Luongwa, nicknamed Shakebone, put his own spin on a knockout wheel. Yep. Both he's got oh, oh, fantastic oh, spinning back oh, elbow! Oh my god! What a knockout! What just happened? clash of the unpronounceable names with Torbjorn Madsen, the South African gladiator struck a killer combo. The Viking mentally sailed to his native shores before touching the floor. That's crazy. The axe kick is considered one of the most difficult among amplitude kicks. But despite the similarity to the movement of an actual axe swing, a chopping kick rarely carries knockout power. Therefore, it is most often used as a distraction. In kickboxing, the axe kick was popularized by Andy Hoog. But even the Swiss karate master did not get many knockdowns with this mesmerizing move. Nevertheless, Alfie Davis did manage to pull off a truly staggering act with it. In a 2016 special rules fight, the fierce lumberjack took less than three minutes to deal with Nick Baker. Again, with a very good combination coming forward. Beautiful KO! Wow! With a single smash, Davis slashed his opponent down, earning himself the nickname The Axe Man. Beautiful. A year later, in MMA, Icelander Bjorn Thorleifsson enriched his career with a memorable kick. By landing heavy body shots, Bjorn forced his counterpart to make a fatal mistake and drop his hands. Overall, they're from the UK, but what a reception for this man! Rich Rich was taking a close he's seen enough! Wow! The ability to execute a tornado kick is without a doubt crucial for any big screen action star. But even outside of a movie set, the whirling move proved to be a work of wonders in kickboxing. Yeah, I remember that from Never Back Down. He dipped it, <laughs> spent over it twice, tornado kick. Israel Adesanya, for example, did not fight shy of using it. Amateur MMA enthusiasts found the stunt to their liking too. 
Deontay Brown amused the crowd in his debut, which made the headlines of the sports press. But the unequivocal wielders of tornado magic are, of course, the professionals. In 2012, accomplished British striker Michael Page made his MMA debut. Ben Dishman had the bad luck to be his victim. For a full minute, Michael took great pleasure in bullying his opponent. A tornado kick maneuver summed up the fight. Page's corner, the London shoot fighter screaming at Antonio Taylor. Seriously, and there's a spinning kick. That is unbelievable. Wow. After turning 360 degrees, Page sent his counterpart into a stumble and fall. Screaming at Antonio Taylor. Seriously, and there's a spinning kick. Soon his talents would be picked up by Bellator, where Venom would go on to make a name for himself. Can come back. A year before that, Adam Khaliyev demonstrated the same visual extravaganza. In his second MMA fight, the Russian middleweight took apart the experienced opponent for two minutes with his signature kicks. However, on the third minute, the bout was finished by a tornado forming right in the ring. Living highlight is the perfect description of knockout virtuoso Raymond Daniels. After spending two decades in the ring, he gained fame as a world champion hold in on, a mo- What the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell? He just jumped off of a imaginary turnbuckle and what the perfect description of knockout virtuoso Raymond Daniels. After spending two decades right here, right here. Hold on. decades in the ring, he gained fame as Yo, that's actually tough. I'm taking that move. Daniel. New DLC unlock. After spending two decades in the ring, he gained fame as a world champion that's in crazy. a multitude of striking disciplines. Daniels that's crazy. also won the trilogy. That's I like that move the most in this whole video. That's crazy. Against Michael Page. But that's a whole other story. Later, Raymond won the Bellator kickboxing tough, title. Real. Likewise, his glory run ended on a wave of success with insane fight compilations. That was tough. Footwork and there's that blistering happening. Spinning back kick. And Big Spin added another. Daniels was ready for the transfer to mixed martial arts. In a 2019 clash, the American welterweight was about to spoil the debut of Wilker Barrows. For four minutes straight, Raymond amused the audience with his obligatory entertainment program. And when the thrown off balance opponent was near the fence, Living Highlight ended the performance on a high note. Fakes him. Raymond turned around twice and drilled a tornado punch into Barros's head. The right hand sent his adversary into oblivion. Love those spinning the world of mixed martial arts has original and suave knockouts that can truly amaze. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Oh, he's out! Yeah, this was a W video. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Formerly known as Twitter, let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Nah, this was a W video. Us versus them, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.